Hello, my light. It is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom video. And today, my we are going to continue right there, as you can see, the last save file. And this, <laughs> man, these videos. I mean, I know we have been doing a lot, my. Um, we have done a lot of videos on this channel, even though it's not even that big of a channel. But I have to say, like, the gaps between certain series are pretty wide. I mean, look at this. <laughs> We're uploading this, um, while well, I'm recording this, um, this should be uploaded on Tuesday on June, on June 11th. And the last time I played the game while recording, well, while recording it at least, was on, <laughs> my, oh dear, on April 23rd. Wow, that's that's just a, that's just a, you have to think about that, Mike. That's about a two month gap of each episode in retrospect, or about a month and a half. I have to, uh, in retrospect, you gotta admit, that's quite the gap. But, um, anyways, right now we are on chapter two, it seems like, of the story. First steps. Right now we are on Auntie, on Auntie Martha's cottage. And right now, Roland's at level six, and Evan is at level five. But all right, enough chit chat for now. We're gonna go ahead and get into the game right now. Just gonna load it. So, mites, I'm um, just letting you all know. Actually, I'm not even sure what episode I'm on. <laughs> but um, uh, yes, here's Auntie Martha, and what what these things are at the moment are basically she refers to them as phenomena, which are known as um, and but they're really called higgledies. Basically, the phenomena is like fire, wind, water, um, darkness. I'm guessing that one is. Um, yeah, see, mites, we got fire and water. The the wind, I'm guessing, is the the clear white ones, the pale ones. The sun, right there. <laughs> He's just bowing to his little friend. Can we actually talk to these? Let's see. Pig, pig. Oh, praying. This is the praying. Um, higgled, higgle, higgledy. There we go. All right. Which one is this one? Pig. <laughs> the bragging higgledy. All right. Um, we have um a fire one. Let me see. Higgledy, who isn't listening? Pig. Higgle Piggle. <laughs> oh, oh no. So they so they're not really called what they which ones they are. They're basically doing their own thing and that's what they're called. Alright, so let's see. Um we got a green one, a blue one. There's just so many variants. I'm really hoping for some sort of lightning one. I mean this one that looks like the sun looks pretty cool. Higgledy playing tag. Hig! Hig! <laughs> okay, alright, so let's see. Um head for Cloud Coil Canyon. Alright, let's talk to Auntie Martha really quickly. Is there anything you'd like to know about my little darlings? Just go ahead and ask. Um, let's see. How do I befriend Higgledies? The easiest way to befriend a Higgledy is to find yourself a Higgledy stone. If there's one of them nearby, a Higgledy's heroes are sure to come along and help you. You usually find them lying around in dusty old dungeons. If I were you, I'd make looking for them a top priority. Of course, you can also try brewing up a batch of Higgledies in a cauldron, but I don't think you're ready for all that just yet. Alright, Mike, so, um, we just got a, a, a Higgledy stones. Presumably, it's like, um, the same color or the same shape or something like that. It should be pretty obvious. Then I guess we can, um, tame them or befriend them somehow? Um, alright. Alright, let's see. Anything else? What exactly what exactly are the Higgledies? She said well we kind of she said that she kind of explained the last episode of mine. Um there's a playlist, I'm pretty sure, on my channel if you are interested in the game. Uh, just go up but go back in the in the last episode. Don't worry, this isn't a live stream. This is a possible video after all. Let's see, what are Higgledy help us? I think that's all we really need to know. What are Higgledy help um heroes? Let's go with heroes then help us. Now dear. As if normal Higgledies weren't special enough, the ones with names like good old Run Kibble the Righteous <laughs> are even specialier. I don't think, uh, specialier? I don't think that's proper grammar. They're called Higgledy Heroes. They'll take the initiative and act on their own accord during battle. And each little hero has his or her own personality and a unique set of tricks up the sleeves. Alright, so the final question I would like to know, Auntie Martha. What are Higgledy Helpers? So the heroes seem to be like fighters, maybe helping us in battle. Like um the clear ones in the last video. But what about the helpers? Maybe it'll give us health or XP as well. As well. Oh, 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 the once, 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 who, who live here with me? We call them Higgledy Helpers. They will follow the heroes who lead them into battle. They'll disappear if, if they take too much damage, but don't worry. Higgledy's heroes have the power to summon them back to the battlefield. Oh, okay, so... 
They so they're basically just a little help us. I'm hoping they'll maybe give us. Oh, look, look, <laughs> look how adorable it is with the swirly little eyes. It's a really nice texture. All right, Dimata, it was great meeting you. I'm glad we could help you um defeat um that monster in the last video. But now it looks like we have to get going to Cloud Coil Canyon. All right, so here we go. Looks like we're going back into uh, battle mode right now. And I actually, this is the reason why I love RPGs and exploring games like this. Because you get to uh, fight and level up and get really, really cool items. Like new swords, new weapons, new shield, new armor. It's, it's just really great. But um, for the purpose of the video, I won't be going into like every single one of these battles. Just because, uh, let me see. So... Like, in the last video, I pretty much battled quite a bit of the enemies, but they weren't all that strong. A few were, a few weren't, so I'm not gonna go ahead and level up, because in most RPGs, honestly... Oh, here's a go. Alright. Is this a new enemy? I don't remember. There's gonna be so many. Alright, here we go. Gotta remember all my buttons now. No, you don't. There we go. Whoa! Nice job, Evan. All right. Got a lot of gilders, a clear crystal. We got a bunch of stuff. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Aw. Uh, you tame a magic muffler number two or second. What is this? Um, A free guard spring mantle. All right. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it sure sounds good. And what is this little sparkly bit over here? A bottle of fresh milk. Oh, all right. We got a hedgehound. Oh, oh, whoa, all right, level three, level three, level three, and a five. Oh, okay. Whoa, Evan's really good now. I'm really glad we leveled him up. There we go, we're getting quite a lot of loot. I don't want to miss out too much on it. Oh, no you don't. All right, GG, everyone. That was pretty good. A cut of lean meat. <laughs> There's just so many to the left. I'm gonna have to keep track on a lot of it. Oh, a little bottle of fresh milk. Oh, a level nine might. I think I think this could be actually really good. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna, we're just gonna tame him and ride on it. All right, let's see. No, stay back, stay back. Uh oh. Man, there are a lot of them. All right. No, you don't. Oh. Come on, get back. Yes, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. Yeah, there we go. Nice shot, Evan. All right. I'm hoping we're gonna get. Um, we're gonna level up a lot more. Um, because of, if, I'm hoping it's one of those games where, like, if you the f the stronger the enemies, the more XP you might likely get. I'm hoping that's the case. Um, a sheaf of hardy wheat. All right, so according to the map, we should be heading this way. Um, okay, <laughs> maybe not exactly that way. Let's see. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to go this way because it seems like a large... It looks like um, we're not gonna be able to go anywhere this way all around, so we might have to go down this way. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, so one thing about the game, I'm probably gonna... Maybe, Moritz, I want you to actually... Here's a question. So, I don't want to fight two enemy enemies unless there's something, like, special or something new I can do off camera. And I may implement that before I start the actual video, but let me know, Moritz. Would you like me to fight a lot more enemies to maybe level up off camera and do a couple of, like, training so I don't forget all the buttons? Because I don't want it to be, like, super, super boring, me trying to remember all of the buttons and whatnot. Just to make sure that, um, it's not too boring of a video for you guys. Because at the end of the day, this is, um, not just for my entertainment of playing the game, but also for a video for you guys. Alright, so here's the save point. There's, um, Auntie Martha's, um, little cottage. Ooh, all right, that's a new enemy over there. No, no, get away, get away, get away, get away. Whew. All right, yeah, there we go. I want to fight, um, what was that? The Wamster... Wamster Charger. Nothing. All right, that's new. That seems to be new. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even know that's how that worked. Super Charge! All right, and it's, it's not that effective, but it is pretty cool. <laughs> the wife's to charge isn't even doing anything. Come on, Mike. Come on. All right. I love love. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One more. Oh, wait. Make that two. Oh, man. I, that's actually quite a bit. Luckily, they're not too great of fighters, aren't they? 
All right, there we go. Easy victory. All right, there we go. Well, really much. What I came up here for, even though I just said I want to go towards the uh, toward Cloud Coil Canyon, is a treasure chest. Is that a dragon? Okay, but what's in the chest? Oh, we got um a loaf of freshly baked bread. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, so we got the map right here. Let me see um, and the area is quite big as I'm I think I showed you all the map before But um seems that we are discovering quite a bit of area at the moment. All right, so let me just get out real quick. Oh All right, so here's the whole like entire map All right, so let's see oh, oopsie um, well anyway that got us back in here Let me see I want to make sure all of our health and everything seems to be okay uh, yeah, alright, so uh, Roland's level 7, and Evan is level 6, there we are, so we both did level up a little bit, but what's that there? Oh, okay, my, uh, <laughs> I didn't think I want to fight that at the moment, because, trust me, usually I would, but, um, yeah, maybe if it was a level 20 or something like that, but no, no thank you, not the moment, no, ah, oh, man, surprise attack, jazz great, it wasn't really much of a surprise. You ready for this? I'm trying to remember all my button combinations. I'm trying to remember that right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we are. All right, all right. Here we are. Uh, I want to save it for now because there's only one more anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the loot marks. Look at all of this. At this rate, we're going to have like a million guilders. Even though we every time we get a back, it seems to just be four. All right, another chest of chests. I didn't even notice just now. Um, you're taking a pair of Detox Simple Slippers, alright, I'm not exactly sure how Simple Slippers are gonna be effective against fighting, but, uh, we'll figure something out, maybe. Can we go down the hill? No? Okay, unfortunately we cannot. Alright, it doesn't seem to be anything else up around this area, just besides a couple enemies, but, um, ooh, there's another treasure chest up there, actually, so let's go up there really, really quickly. Nope, nope, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, get to the treasure chest, there we are. We got a six sensor, all right. No, 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 no. No, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Ah, mate. Oh, man. Let's just hit that when there's like a really fast enemy you don't feel like, and you don't feel like fighting. Yeah, there we go, mates. Look at that. Took almost all of them out on one fell swoop. That is amazing. All right, GG, everyone, GG. <laughs> the little Higglies are just excited, just helping a little bit. They're like, yeah, we're here too. We're here to help for, for some reason. <laughs> All right, so enough messing around. I think that's enough um, finding until we maybe find a new enemy at the moment. Wait, uh, which way did we come down from? Uh, right here? Uh, was it? Where's the platform? Um, because it's it's really shaping. Oh, all right, it's over there. All right, Mike. So as I was saying before, enough messing around, enough fighting for now. Unless we, you know, find anything a little bit stronger that, or different than the same enemies. I think at the moment, right now, it's important that we go that we save to Cloud Coil Canyon. But right now, I'm just gonna save this real quick. All right. I don't know what that did, honestly, but um, eh, whatever. It should be fine. I hope. <laughs> Right, wait, gonna get past this enemy really, really quickly. No, 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 man. They're just so much faster than our character for some reason. Here goes nothing. Oh, there we go. Takes about two, three, uh, takes about like four hits pretty much. Like two, like, um, two to four hits pretty much. It depends how strong it is. There we go. About three or four though. Uh, a f wait, a piece of shaggy fur, okay. <laughs> Alright, we got another goo, alright. Since we only saw one before, let's get another one. Oh, there's actually quite a bit. I saw one just there and one on the top right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Man, I thought it was like a skinny goo. And now! Yeah, look at that, mice. Alright. We got one of them and, uh, well, we got two of them and one of them down to half health. There we are. Honestly, you would expect the goo to, like, kind of get the sword or absorb it, but, um, the sword seems to be doing really nice. Alright, let's see. Um, there's a bridge right there. Um, let's see. Should I? You know, I'll just go for this goo, then we'll get that treasure chest. Then we'll just move on once again. 
All right. Oh, we got a we got a whole we got a whole area right here. So let's do this. There we go. Just wrap stuff up a little bit fast. I'm not the type of gamer, honestly, actually, um, to spam a lot of things, like special attacks, even though it might make the battle quicker. I like to give each attack usually, like, its own, like, try in a battle. Alright. Oh, what's that? Is that, like, a giant blue goo? Or something like that? Or is that something entirely different? Ooh, yeah, we got 300 guilders! Alright, Marts, we are rolling in the money right now. I wonder, if, I wonder if um the Coyo Canyon has um a shop that would be or maybe a town near it that'd actually be really really helpful. A jar of fresh wonder water. <laughs> All right. Let's see a sheaf of hearty wheat. I, I hope you don't mind me asking, but your ears. <laughs> um oh oh I don't mind at all. Yes, no real. I'm half Grim Malkin, you see. Huh. Interesting. You don't get many cat ear kings where I'm from. <laughs> um, or kings, my. Where you come from, it's like modern times. We got presidents. N well, I guess you can kind of argue because Queen of England and stuff like that. It, uh, I guess it varies. Um, uh, yeah, we're not going to get into that kind of discussion today. I, I was going to think of something else to say, but no, I'm not going to say anything more than that. All right, Rumster Klinga. See another ch chest over there. I might go grab that, but no. No, no, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! What the heck? Oh, whew. He was, that one was really persistent, I'll tell you that much more. Look at all the enemies around here. Man, this is crazy. This is, this is really getting um, annoying in some sense. Oh, nope, no, no, I rather, I rather found the wamps to Klinger. The goo was a little too weak, honestly. No offense, goo. <laughs> he looked funny. We still love you, goo, don't worry, you're a nice enemy. Sort of, not really, he attacks us. There we go, almost done. Yeah, there we are. I gotta say, I like Evan's attack. Maybe I'll switch like the character to Evan and try to give him a bit of a chance. Um, because Rowan seems to be like the main character who's helping Evan more like it. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm mainly playing with him. Maybe you guys want to see me switch up the characters like every single video. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get more companions like in the previous game that I didn't get the chance to play unfortunately. Because it was only on PS3. I'm not even sure if it was on a, like, desktop or anything. But I'm probably not going to play on the channel. Because it is pretty old at this point. No! No! I was really, really hoping to just get away. Oh, alright. We got a lot this time. So let's do this! There we go. Oh, okay, Mike. That's one of the things we fought under the, underneath the castle. Uh-oh. And it is pretty strong. Nope, nope. Get over here. There we go. <laughs> One slash and it's done. Oh, oh man, this 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 um skeleton is pretty strong. Ow, ow. How do you how do you block again? I need to remember how to block. All right, is it like this? Oh, like this, like this. Uh oh, hey, get away from Evan. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, it still got me. It still got me. But nonetheless, we were able to defeat them. Alright, so that was actually pretty good. Although they were like, what, level 3? I didn't really get um, the numbers of them. But um, it was pretty good. At least we fought a couple different enemies for, for a change. Alright, we got a level 8 hedgehog over there and level 10. Let's see. Oh, no. No, no, no. Why? Why the level 4? I don't want the level 4. I don't want the level 4. No. <laughs> oh, no. You're just going to see a compilation video more someday of me just running away from enemies that I don't feel like fighting. Oh, dear. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Oh. I saw a building, Mites. I just saw a building over there. That might be another destination we have to go. Ah, look at that! I just love seeing a whole wave of enemies just just gone instantly. Hey, get up and fight. Come on. Or not. Okay. Yeah, double team. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. This is getting pretty easy, honestly. But, um... Mike, do you remember how we saw that level 50 uh, monster before? Uh, no, thank you. I do not feel like fighting that anytime soon, if, if I'm being quite honest. Alright, there's a bunch of goo over there. Alright, so according to the map, we have to head this way, right? Let me check. Um, let me see. Current location. Alright, that's Ding Dong Dell. At the Martis College. Wow, we actually went quite the distance already. Oh yes, you might look. That's the bridge. Um, that's the bridge right there in the middle. Then we went left. Now we're around. Now we're along the rolling hills. Just Ding Dong Dell over there. What's that over there though? I'm not sure. 
I feel like, yeah, that is where we're supposed to go, right? So let me see. If we turn this way, uh, yeah, whoa, we're actually supposed to go quite a distance. Alright, let's see, so let's walk around. And what the heck are those things? I see a little save point right here, it seems like. Travel to Rolling Hills Trip Door. Alright, but what are those things over there? Are those people? We got like another castle over there, it looks like. Yep, here we are, mate, another castle. Let's see, what can we do in this area at the moment? So, are we even allowed? I don't think we want to go any closer to Ding Dong Dell. Oh dear. Yeah, probably a good idea at the moment. Oh dear. No, 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 no. No, go away, go away, go away, go away. Whew! <laughs> Lost him in this uh, mini forest bush place. Alright, so it looks like we're just gonna keep going on this way. Oh! Should I? You know, I'm gonna fight the level 8 just to try to get a little bit of a challenge. Just something. Just something a little bit better. You ready for this? Alright, I wanna try this one. Yeah! You look at that, Mites! That was amazing! You gotta admit, Mites, that was really, really cool. That's way more effective than the other attack, although it's probably gonna get a little bit more harder to summon the attacks overall. Or maybe it'll get easier, who knows? Oh, there we go. Evan finishing off the last enemy. Let me just pick up all the loot. There we go. We're getting a lot of shaggy fur and milk. I don't know what exactly it's supposed to be for, but eh. Um, on the bright side, we are getting a lot of stuff. Maybe we could sell some stuff or even buy some. Alright, trying to avoid the enemies as much as possible. Uh, Alright, see another bridge right over there. Wait, or is it this way? Nope, we're supposed to go this way. That's the bridge we came from, alright? So we're going this direction. We're just getting so many Whamster Clangers, Prangers, um, the Hedge Werehog things, the Skeleplasm. Yep, there we are, it's another Skeleplasm. All right. Oh, all right. So we got a bunch of enemies this time. So you know what? There we go. We can a couple of them because these Skeleprangers are actually pretty. I mean, Skeleprangers, Skeleplasms are actually pretty tough. There we are. Come on, Nevin. Yeah, good job. Oh, and le he level he level up too. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I like those enemies actually. I love the way the Skeleplasms are designed. And I have like a shield and a sword, so it makes them more of a challenge too. I really do love those enemies. Alright, level 9 goo over there. And a lot of um hedgehounds. Wow, that's a that's a lot. So you know, we're gonna we're gonna skip them for now. Wumpster Klanger, don't bother me, please. Please don't bother me. There we go. Alright, another Wumpster Prank. You know, I'm just gonna fight this one just because um it's right here near the entrance. We might as well. Whoa! Okay, uh, that's a giant skeleton. Do not want to fight whatever that came from. Come on. Oh, 205 damage. Nice job, Evan. Although I am taking a bit of damage. Let's, um, there we go. No, you don't. <laughs> Trying to shoot me with a bow. No, thank you. Only one who does that is Soul Taker. And, um, it's only for training, really. Which is kind of rare. There we go. Or if he teaches me. Oh, let me grab the little bit of gilders. Oh, nope. <laughs> I missed them. Uh, oh, oh, they fall off the battle anyway, so we don't need to really run around. We got a fledging feather. Wow. All right, so let me quickly go back in here real quick. Let's see, we got a clue, blunder, blaster. Sidearm. So, so this is to be pretty good. Just making sure that we don't have anything too... Like, well, I want the best possible stuff at the moment. 37, so we have a broadsword right there. But this is a lot better at the... F Although, I don't want to really use it, honestly. Watery Cutlass. Ooh, we got a regular broadsword, the Cutlass. Um, alright, so you know, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me switch um, the characters real, real quick. I want to switch... Oh, wait, nope. Uh, let me see. Actually, is there anything here? We got the simple... We have the Detox Simple Slipper, so there we go. Any rings? Oh, we actually do. We actually do have a couple things, Mark. So I'm gonna take the rage, ma the mage's ring too. I'll take the mage's muffler, I suppose. Old cloak. Oh, all right. So this we got a lot of stuff, Mark. So look, before we end the video, really quickly, I want to check some of this stuff out. Freeze guard spring mantle. I'm not sure what that means, but here we go. Flatline circular saw. All right. So this are two attacks right now. Let's switch to um Evan real quick. Oop! Didn't mean to do that. Alright, Fiery Bolt Sword. Yep, he has the strongest sword right now. Uh, let's give him the Watery Cutlass instead of the the regular Cutlass. There we go, the Brawl Sword. 
Then we'll switch him back to his regular Cutlass again. And his Magic Wand. Powerless... Um... Wait, Powerless Spellcaster Shell. Ooh, that sounds effective. <laughs> so, it doesn't have as much range, I'm guessing that means. I need to look up what these exactly mean. So... Alright, so let me see. But it has a little bit less um, attack power. So, but only by two. So, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip him with the Powerless Spellcaster Shell. Alright, we want to give him a little bit of protection and armor as well. So let's give him the choppy old cloak. It's, it doesn't sound good, <laughs> but it does. it is pretty good as, as far as what we can tell. Alright, we're gonna give him Mage's Ring. There we are. And we're gonna give him a Magic Muffler. Alright, so he has all of his spells right there. King Spin, Firewall, Water Balloon. Alright, so let me check the items really quickly. We do have quite a bit. Let me see. What is this blue stuff right here? A healing herb that um, restores the user's HP. Um, a little bit. So let me see. How much does it... How much is it? Oh, alright. So it does do quite a bit. Let me see. Part of enchant surrounded by curls of mist. Restores MP. I'm guessing it's that blue stuff. So let's try it out real quick. Oh, alright. So it's not that much. But you know what? We're just going to heal Evan since he's mainly the main um, spellcaster. Um, slightly improves physical defense. Fills you up a little, alright, so... I suppose we'll give one right here to, um, Roland, and we'll give one to Evan, why not? There we go. So, Milk Chew. These child-friendly treats are meant to be good for you, and magically they are. Booster uses magical defense by one, so you know, let's give that to Evan as well. There we are, and Mike, since our health isn't too bad with Evan or Roland, it wasn't before, I just wanted to test it out. It's, I'm just gonna save all the store away, our quest, our library. Alright, so it seems like we're, everything we've done so far seems pretty good. Alright, so really quickly, I wanna save the game. There we are, before we end off the video. Alright, and here we are, Mike. Um, save file number 7. There we go. I'm gonna probably loop around because it's not gonna be like a hundred. Um, well, depending how many videos this is gonna be, I doubt it's gonna be that many um, save files. So I'll reuse them, don't worry. I know this might take out my space or whatnot, but I'm fine with it for now. But, anyways, Mike, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Please give a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified on if you guys like this series. I personally am a big fan of the game myself, and hopefully you guys are too. And leave a comment, Mike, on whether or not you want me to change, like, some things, do anything specific, save some items, like, um, do this to Ev like, give Evan this or Roland this because he has more stamina or more attack or whatnot just any suggestions if you guys play the game or know anybody who plays the game it'd be really really helpful and yes marks i will see you all later later guys